Good morning. My name is Shen Haston, and this is Haston Helping Hands. And today I want to talk to you about why it's okay not to be okay. There is a lot of pressure, uh, I think, to telling people that you're okay when you're not okay. I've been feeling it. Um, so to tell you that I'm going through something is enough. I don't need to tell you all the details. Um, but I want to be authentic and I want to be vulnerable. So I will say that somebody who is important and estranged died. And I'm dealing with the grief and the loss and that is difficult. And um, as a person who lives at a happy-go-lucky, like really high up, it's really difficult to be at a middle, a middle mellow and so I've been really struggling with that. Not because anyone around me expects it, but because I expect it of myself. And so battling back those expectations and saying, you know what, I'm okay. Or I'm not okay, I need some help. And I have a lot of support, including a great therapist. Um, and it's hard. It's still hard, even with help. So without help, I can't imagine how I'd be doing. So as someone who believes in the power of therapy, and I also believe in good mental health, it's important to me to say to you, if you're struggling, please tell someone. Um, and by someone, I mean a mental health professional, um, a good friend. All of that is a step forward in the right direction. And I'd really like to see us normalize this. Um, it's really okay to not be okay. And I think the person who needs to hear that the most is probably me. Um, but I am a passenger with you on this flight, like everything else, um, as a parent, as a wife, um, as a speaker, these are all things that I do with you. Um, I'm definitely not an expert. Oh, how I wish I was an expert. That would make it really easy. I lecture from the lofty podium of my knowledge and then we'd be done. Except what I've been learning is that when you're vulnerable, it helps people. And being vulnerable at a struggle, I think is really important. So I'm going to um, ask you, um, I'm building my YouTube channel, and I'm going to ask you to like, share and subscribe. Um, so you don't miss any of my posts. Um, I talk about being a mom, I talk about being a wife, I talk about being a human traversing the planet. And um, I talk about my struggle, because I think that it's important that we do it. I want to normalize it. I want more people to talk about their struggle. I want more people to say, you know what, I'm really not okay. Um, because I've been reading a lot about uh, toxic positivity and the notion that you post a picture on Instagram and you tell people to buck up and chin up and you know, it's going to be okay. And it's like, yeah. And there's a lot more to it than that. It's not just a little happy picture um, that you put on social media. It's talking to a good friend. It's crying, a lot of crying. A lot of crying um, and I think that the more that we talk about that the more that we normalize it the more that we help people see that they're not alone I think the better um, so with that I'm gonna ask you to do um, something for me so I read every comment that comes in for me um, do me a favor if you are like me right now where you're not high you're not low you're in the middle you're just kind of on the border of okay. If you're okay, leave a yellow heart. If you're really struggling and you're upset and frustrated, leave me a black heart. And if you are doing great, awesome. Post a red heart for me. And if you're doing okay, press that yellow heart. And then if you really are struggling, make sure that you reach out and ask for some help. And I read all the comments. Um, so please, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Has there been a time where you expected you to be brave, but everybody else was like, are you okay? Because I feel like in this situation, you'd probably be falling apart. But your expectations of yourself were way higher than anyone in this situation. And nobody was putting pressure on you, except for you, to act the way that you always did before. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jen Haston, and this has been Haston Helping Hands.